you want to hear an opera, Scottish, American folk singer? Well, today we have Rhiannon Giddens on Traditional Music Tuesday. I am a poor wayfaring stranger hmm. Travelling through this world alone There is no sickness, toil or danger In that fair land to which wow. I go I'm going home to see my mother I'm going home no more to roam I'm just going over Jordan I'm just going over home I can hear all of those influences all joined in together. She is a founding member of the country blues and old time music band, the Carolina Chocolate Drops. I think they've even won a Grammy for their work in American folk music, but she also has done a lot of competitions in Irish lilting and is a massive fan of that style of music. And she trained in opera. And you can hear all that happening in her voice. Those really fast and precise runs uh, moving from lightness to heaviness, a style that's in lilting and Portia Beale, which is the Scottish kind of version of that. She also going to that, oh, that really round place at the bottom makes it really, really warm, but that comes from opera. The difference in those styles of singing is fast. Opera really moves your vocal anatomy to the extreme. You're lowering your larynx. You're making a really massive space at the back of your mouth here and raising your soft palate. You might not do that quite so much in in Scottish music or American folk because they're just more natural styles of singing that come out of the way that we naturally communicate. Opera is really, really trained. But because she's trained in that, she's just sneaking it in in a way that feels very, very natural. And it makes it feel solid and warm and beautiful. And as you can see, she's also a fantastic musician. She plays the banjo, which she's playing here, and the fiddle and the viola. So, yeah, that is a talented lady. I know dark clouds will gather around me. I know my way is rough and steep The golden fields lie dressed before me With the redeemed shall ever sleep I'm going home to see my mother That big open opera space is so interesting. Home. Just those little moments where she lowers that larynx and really creates that space. And it's not just in her singing, she's actually also created her very own opera. In fact, she won a Pulitzer Prize for it and it's called Omar. So she that's amazing. Now this song, it's really old, it's from the early 19th century. There's lots of rumours about where it came from. A lot of these folk songs, the writers were lost in history because they were just normal, normal people. And the songs have been changed and morphed throughout the years. So maybe it hasn't even been one person. It's probably a song that started a certain way and has been changed throughout the generations. And there's something really, really wonderful about it. That's gonna make me cry. It's like a little cry in her voice, so beautiful. 
what really struck me is that she's such a talented woman she could have done anything with that song she could have gone over the top she could have made a big opera note she could have done riffs all over it but she kept it so true to the emotion and that is where the real beauty lies before you go i have just released my very own album it's available on my website and three of the songs are here on youtube and on spotify and i would love if you could go and check it out all right thank you for watching see you in the next one bye